when we make our gifts to God's mission at St. Paul's, we're supporting a lot of things, and some of them kind of slide under the radar. One of them, which might be the best kept secret in Nobleton, if not the best kept secret in the church, is our church library. And some of us may not even know where it is. So I'm going to take you on a little bit of a tour uh, on our way to the library to see if you can find it and some things that we'll notice along the way. Now, as we make our way into the gym, there is always this wonderful little display seasonally set up by June Mullings that has some books that are from the church library that can be borrowed. And you are welcome to uh, take these and go and sign them out. This one says, Insight into Life, Know a Holy God. Very important. And then oftentimes, there will be set up in the gym, which has a bit of an echo here, some of the uh, newer books that have come in. And so June and Linda are here to tell us a little bit about these because uh, when a Christian bookstore was closing, Linda went out and got a whole bunch of books. So uh, Linda, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Well, just to say it was an impossible task because there are so many, many good books. Um, but I just want to, um, like this is such a gold mine this church has with this library. Uh, books that um, just can speak to everybody. Uh, here's one, for example, a spiritual mismatch, hope for Christians married to someone who doesn't know God. Um, for teenagers, a, a abandoned faith. Uh, for the millennials that are walking away from our faith. Um, simplifying your time just for everyday household um, organization things. Uh, books for teenagers and clean videos. Uh, videos that uh, really can speak into your life and that are uh, exciting to, to watch and, and often very challenging for us. Um, also biographies. Um, I just went to a seminar this week and how important it is like just to witness or to share your life with others and so many of these authors have just shared what they've walked through in their own life and, and similar to what we're walking through in our own lives, very inspiring. So I can just only highly recommend that people come to the library and see what good information there is there and June um, is always so excellent in, in knowing also what's what might fit your need at the moment, whether it's just a good read. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, ladies. Let's go into the library itself and see the treasure trove that's in there. I remember nine years ago, a little more than that, when I was first looking at coming to St. Paul's and they took me on a tour, I said that this is the most quality stocked church library I have mm -hmm. ever seen. And I, mm -hmm. I stand by that to this day, that this tiny little room, which was once... Uh, the only Sunday school room in the church is now the best stocked quality Christian library of any church I am aware of. And so, uh, uh, ladies, tell us a little bit more about what's going on in here. Well, just on Tuesday, we had the, the ladies who serve come in and redo all the labels so they're very legible to make people see what they're looking for. And they each did a unit and made sure the labels were clear. But we have Old Testament, New Testament, and all these sections are laid at Christian marriage, men, women, parenting. And it's all set out over behind here are the children, the teenagers up top, and the, the littler children are all down here below, the, the small children. These DVDs are for families. They're really good, safe ones. We're really concerned about what people watch in the movie realm. And, and so we want people to watch better. There are DVDs for adults like War Room and Faith Like Potatoes and Fireproof. Those ones have been around a while, but mm -hmm. they're excellent movies. And then CDs so you can see and listen to good music as you're driving along. Mm. And this is the spot here where people sign out a book, right? Yes, that's right. It's sort of like the old system of public libraries where you took the card out and signed it and were told when you're coming back with the, the little date stamp and all that. You stamp twice, once on the card and once on the pocket. i just show you because that's all there is. On the card, you stamp, mm -hmm. and on the pocket, you stamp. 
perfect. And you put it in there. Yeah. Well, that's and terrific. And then when you return it, you throw it in there. Throw it in there. You oh. don't have to line up your card or anything. You just do it. And and uh, how how expensive are the late fees if we're uh, running a little behind? Oh, we're really miserable in here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I suspect there's some grace shown, isn't there? <laughs> Well, ladies, thank you for this tour of what uh, our books are like. Understand, friends, that uh, very rarely in the past number of years has there been any money uh, from the budget that has gone toward new books, but we'd always like to be able to update them. So your gifts to God's mission really make a difference, even in little places like our church library. So thank you for your continued generosity.